Okay guys, so let's take a quick look on Matic. Like I told you yesterday already guys, I was expecting some strong price action for another retest of about $2.40. And as you can see right here guys, we saw a perfect retest of this area around $2 first of all. Then we had the small fake out like Bitcoin did also to about $1.90. And right now we are already up from this previous low about 25%. And um, I, al I also called another... Uh, long trade in my discord chat guys on matic i can show to you right now as you can see right here my first entry was around 2.14 ish i didn't uh, take my second entry around 1.88 because i didn't get it as you can see it was very uh, tight right here and my take profit targets are around 2.21 ish around 2.26 and around 2.37 and as you can see right now all of my take profit targets are already hit on matic guys so another risk reward ratio of about one to two another nice long trade and if you're also interested guys make sure to check out my patreon community link is down below in the description and i will share all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit points with you guys so yeah another nice long trade on matic and why i took out my uh, entire long position on matic around two dollar and forty cents guys it's very simple i think you can see obviously right here between two dollar and forty cents to about two dollar and ninety two cents or so we have a lot of backholders sitting right here in this area in this range right here and i think you can definitely expect a lot of selling pressure coming in over the next couple of hours on matic around two dollar and forty cents guys if we are breaking above this resistance right here and we are closing some four hour candles i would say between two dollar and forty cents to about two dollar and fifty cents then all the people are currently taking short positions right now on matic I think if they're getting stopped out on the way up, guys, I think most of the retail traders have their stop loss positions somewhere around two dollars between two dollars and forty to about two dollars and fifty cents. I think if they're getting stopped out, we can definitely see maybe some similar price action like we saw, for example, on Phantom on this short trap right over here. And then Matty could definitely go up back again to about two dollar and seventy cents otherwise if you are seeing some sideways consolidation over the next hours on matic guys and we are seeing some sideways consolidation right over here and we are not able to take out this resistance then there is definitely a possibility for uh, sideways consolidation for the next one or two weeks on matic let's say between two dollars to about two dollar and forty cents but even if we are seeing a sideways consolidation in this range i would still be bullish on matic guys because as long as we're able to hold this area right here around two dollars i would still be bullish and as you can see we would still remain the bullish structure on matic right over here guys and we would still make a new higher low if we are holding the two dollar area and we are still also making new higher highs on matic so for me there is definitely no reason to panic even if matic uh, is breaking down again to about two dollars otherwise if you are breaking below two dollars guys then we have definitely another problem but if you are breaking below two dollars of course i will keep you updated on my youtube channel for now like i said i already pulled out my entire long position guys and i'm just waiting how you'll we'll react to this area of resistance right here around two dollar and forty cents and then of course i will keep you updated on my youtube channel and like i said guys if you want to you can definitely check out my patreon community to get all of my trade setups